Okay. Hello. Hi. My name is Matt Larson. I'll be your nurse today. I'm going to be giving you a head-to-toe assessment, okay? Is that okay. Right? Yeah. yeah, that's totally fine. Yep. Perfect. Now, this is where I perform high hand hygiene by washing my hands. Always cleanse his anus. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This, is my, uh, this patient is 21 years old, male, uh, no uh, acute distress, um, well-nourished, uh, well-rounded. Just utter perfection. <laughs> yeah. Um, can you state your name and date of birth for me, please? Yeah, Bradley Larson, uh, 1105-1998. Perfect. Um, can you tell me why you're here? Yeah, uh, quick checkup. Yeah, can you uh, tell me who the president is? Uh, yeah, Donald Trump. What's the date? Uh, the date today is July 23rd, 2020. Perfect. All right. Uh, patient is oriented times four and speech is coherent and clear and fluid. Um, I'm going to test you on your muscle, uh, muscle strength, okay? Yeah, so I got the gun, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what I'm going to have you do is you're going to go against... My hand, the distance, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, perfect. Squeeze my hands, perfect. Now you're going to go against my, uh, I'm going to pull your hands, you're going to go against it, okay? Okay. Like that, now like that, perfect. Now go against me. Now other way. All right, now you're going to do gas pedal. Now other way. Perfect. Okay, uh... Patient's muscular, muscular muscle strength is equal bilateral throughout the throughout uh, in all extremities, upper and lower. Um, I would rate that one as a uh, score of three out of five. And now I'm going to go to um, sensation. Wait, wait, three out of five. <laughs> yeah, that's the way it's scored. Oh, okay. And so um, now I'm going to do your sensation. Okay. I'm going to okay. take this toothpick right here. For a sharpening, sharp pain, and this is going to be my soft pain, okay? <laughs> that close, seems fun. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're going to close your eyes. Okay. Yeah, you're going to close your eyes, and you're going to let me know where the pain or feeling is coming from, the okay. sensation, and what it is. Right arm hard. Soft right arm. Left hard. Uh, soft left arm. Uh, left leg, or left thigh, uh, hard. Right thigh, hard. Soft right leg. Left leg, hard. Perfect. Okay. Patient sensation is, uh, equal and, uh, equal throughout all extremities. And then, um, now I'm going to test you on... Uh, reflexes, okay? Okay. And then I want to test you on your. Um, I got some ninja stew yeah, reflexes. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna. T uh, I'm gonna do your. Uh, I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna use. Uh, I don't have a hammer, so I'm gonna use my uh, pen light as a, a reflex. I would prefer. That All right. Anyway. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test your your bicep reflex for each one. And that is C5 and C6. Now I'm gonna do your tricep. Just dangle it. Okay. Dangle. Okay. Yeah, just completely okay. fluid. I got okay. it. Okay. Let, let, don't move your muscles. There you go. Just completely fluid. Yeah, there you go. The tricep is C7. And now the radialis brachialis. Perfect. And that, uh, the, the wrist, the radial brachialis uh, reflex, that is, uh, C6. And now I'm going to do your quadriceps, uh -huh. which is underneath the knee. And that would be L4, the top of your ankle. And that would be uh, S1. And now I'm going to do uh, the Beninsky reflex, which is uh, going from the heel to the uh, toes, following the outside of the foot. Okay, now I can say um, all reflexes are uh, intact and equal throughout, including the Beninsky reflex. Sweet. Yep. And now we are going to do um, uh, station and gait, okay? Okay. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to stand up for me. Uh, okay. All right, you're going to walk five paces that way. 
Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna walk on your heels five paces towards me. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna walk on your toes five paces that way. One, two, three, four, five. And now you're gonna do like a drunk assessment where heel to toe five paces towards me, okay? okay. Perfect. Now I'm gonna have you sit back down on your little thing. Okay. Now we're going to. Um, so I can say, uh, uh, patient's uh, station and gait is uh, normal. Now I'm going to test you on um, Perla and stuff like that. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm gonna flash this light in you. Are you okay? Looking at the pupils, I'm going to cover your face, watching both pupils react. Perfect. Now I'm going to have you look at my pen and you're going to stare at it. Wonderful. Okay, so patient's uh, pupils are equal, round, and reactive to light with accommodation. Um, now I'm going to look at your nose, okay? I'm noticing there's no nasal flaring. Uh, now I'm going to inspect your mouth. Uh, mucous membranes are pink and moist, and the mouth doesn't appear to have any cyanosis to it. Uh, so I can say, um, patient uh, does not appear to have any um, cyanosis or nasal flaring, um, and including Perla. And now I can say, um, oh, i got to palpate your head. Okay. All right, I'm feeling your head. I'm feeling it for any emerald masses, the size, and stuff like that. Feels like head massage. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah head is symmetrical, uh, no abnormal lumps or masses. Um, now I'm going to um, palpate uh, your, uh, your neck, or your specifically the carotid arteries, one at a time. Uh, carotid arteries are strong with equal rhythm. Um, um, <laughs> okay, um, yeah, uh, here it is, um, yeah, that's it, that's about it, basically it. Um, now I'm going to do, uh, the chest area and your lungs, okay? Okay. So after, I'm going to inspect your chest, and it doesn't seem to be, have, have any, um, uh, barrel chesting, uh, the chest isn't, uh, too much inward or... Outward, um, I'm noticing there isn't any abnormalities through my vision. All right. Um, a little bit overweight, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're fine. Um, now I'm going to palpate his chest. Um, uh, four on the anterior, and then four or six on the uh, posterior. Uh, feeling for any abnormalities. After palpating the uh, patient's chest, I may not find any um, um, extra vibrations or rhythms. Um, I may not feel any uh, crackles or anything like that. Um, now I'm going to um, oscillate your chest, okay? Okay. With um, six anterior and um, eight an uh, posterior, okay? All right, and each one you're going to take a deep breath, okay? Okay. Uh, after oscillating the patient's chest, um, I, heard, I heard normal breathing sounds without any crackles or any extra vibrations or anything like that. Um, now, um, I palpated his chest, I oscillated it, uh, I inspected it. Now we are going to work on um, cardiovascular. Okay. All right, so I'm going to inspect the um, uh, valve, uh, the air. The valve, the valvic areas of the heart, including like the aortic and like uh, pulmonary and stuff like that, 
tricuspid and mitral valves and stuff like that. When we're looking at it, uh, I do not see any excess fluttering or brutes. Um, now I'm going to uh, palpate the uh, chest going from the, um, whatchamacallit, going to the aortic area, to the pulmonary area, to the tricuspid valve area, to the mitral area. After palpating for uh, the heart, I did not feel any excess spluttering. No, I felt normal uh, rhythms of the heart, uh, uh, good strength in uh, uh, beats per minute. Now I'm going to um, oscillate your heart sounds, okay? Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. For uh, the um, um, oscillating for uh, lung sounds, I'm, I, I'm supposed to do the uh, auxiliary areas. So like three areas under each uh, armpit. All right, so I'm going to do this. Now for um, uh, oscillating the heart. All right, I'm going to oscillate where the aortic air area, pulmonary area, tricuspid area, and mitral area. All right. I do not hear any uh, abnormalities in your heart rhythm. Um, okay. A strong pulse. Um, I do not hear any broods or fluttering uh, or thrills in your heart rhythms. Um, and yeah, I would say uh, normal heart rhythms throughout. Uh, the aortic, uh, pulmonary, tricuspid, and mitral areas, okay? Okay. And, um, <laughs> oh, and then what I'm supposed to say is um, if, if I were to oscillate someone's heart, uh, a patient's heart, and if they have uh, excess fat, like if they're obese or have like um, uh, excess breast tissue, I would put them on their uh, lateral side. And when I do oscillate their heart uh, sounds, I would um, do it with them sitting and then laying down to make sure there isn't any differences. Um, now, um, oh, uh, I'm going to check uh, for edema which is uh, going around the extremities, putting pressure points on their extremities. Uh, I noticed that there is no edema or excess fluid uh, or edema uh, in the patient. Uh, I'm going to test for um, uh, capillary refills. Oh, for my hands? Yep. yep. I'm going to press the nail, the nail beds above the feet and the hands. Uh, uh, there's no normal venous return in the capillaries of the patient uh, under two seconds. and Anything above two seconds would be considered abnormal. Um, I'm going to check for uh, uh, heat uh, okay. for uh, see if you are, are, are warmth. And I take the back of my hands and feel across the extremities. Yeah, your hands are ice cold. Right? I know, I know. Mm -hmm. um, so I could say... Um, yeah, capillary refills are uh, equal bilaterally throughout the extremities, uh, have good venous return, and then um, uh, patient has uh, good warm, uh, warmth, is warm to the touch for all extremities. And now I'm going to do the um, uh, pulses. So I already did the apical pulse right here, and then uh, the carotid pulses, but I need to do the um, br uh, brachial pulses. The bicep, the radial pulses, the popliteal pulses behind the knees, and the uh, posterior tibialis, and the salus pedis pulses t as well. All right, um, all pulses are equal and have a good strong pulse without any uh, fluttering. They're strong throughout. And I do not notice any abnormalities in the pulses. Uh, um, yeah, um, I would say uh, that would be it for cardiovascular. Um, now, I would say for uh, abdomen. All right, so I'm going to have you lay down. Okay. 
Okay, so for fir the first thing I would do is to inspect the um, contour of the abdomen, uh, such as um, the shape and uh, any excess scarring or anything like that. Um, on my patient right here, I would say they're in normal concave shape. I'm not noticing any flutterations or any excess uh, bowel movements. Uh, there's no scarring on the abdomen. Um, um, yeah. Uh, that, that would be my visual aspect. And then uh, before I palpate or percuss um, my, um, whatchamacallit, my, the abdomen, uh, I'm going to oscillate so I don't ruin the normal bowel sounds, okay? All right, so for each uh, quadrant, I listen for three minutes each. All right, keep your hands up again, okay? All right, so I'm listening for abnormal or normal uh, bowel sounds. Each quarter for three minutes. And after doing that, I would say um, the patient has normal bowel sounds uh, without any um, excess um, uh, excess bowel movements or um, fluttering or anything like that. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, uh, per Us. Palpate, palpate the uh, abdomen. So, and then what I do is I'm going to palpate the abdomen using a rolling technique. And then, for people with tender or stressed um, uh, abdomens, I would not palpate. But after palpating my patient's abdomen, I would say um, uh, palpations were normal; did not feel any abnormal masses. Uh, or anything like that, and then uh, what? Now I'm going to um, percuss the um, ab my, my patient's abdomen, and that's going to be where I take both fingers like this and I hit the lowest knuckle, and I hit it trying to feel for hollowness or anything like that. And I do that over the patient's tummy. And it might be uh, you're feeling basically basically um, like the softness of like all the organs. Except maybe in like the right quadrant, you would feel it would be uh, uh, harder because um, the liver, I think, is right behind it. And then after that, I would definitely say my patient's um, percussion of the abdomen is uh, intimative and, uh, and normal bowel. Normal bowel intimations or whatever. And that is it of my uh, head to toe. Thank you. Thank you, Bradley. Yep.